Um, obviously, Matthew Cruiser, everyone wants to know how he's pulled up. What, what happened, Brett? Was yeah, he's, um, his, foot went, uh, his foot went to sleep and uh, he couldn't feel his foot, so um, they tried restrapping. Um, it was a little bit through the, uh, which I really didn't know too much about in the warm up. And, uh, and so we restrapped and then he started playing and then he restrapped again um, his knee just to see if there was anything that was uh, that involved and his ankle. Um, yeah, so then we rushed him off to hospital to make, uh, you know, inquiries and find out why. So we don't know yet. Uh, nothing's come back, but we'll find out in the next, you know, sort of 12 hours. Obviously, that's a big concern. Um, heading out for a final, so you, you'll know tonight. You'll maybe not yeah, tonight, depending no. on what, uh, you know, if there's any testing, yeah. those types of things. But uh, rehab tomorrow um, is in the morning. So yeah, everyone will know sort of by, um, you know, the, the Bull Ants play. Uh, tomorrow at two o'clock, so I dare say we'll find out sometime tomorrow. Yep. Did you sort of come on, or was there a, a, an incident, or did he pull up sore? Or? No, he didn't. Um, he was, uh, you know, he did his normal, uh, didn't train yesterday, just in sand shoes, and took it easy in the last session, had a few kicks and marks and those type of things. Came here and nothing was there, and next minute, bang. Yeah. So two minutes into the game, the doc was saying we've got a few issues with Cruise and we battled on and uh, yeah, but um, it probably didn't give us a target uh, to go to and uh, it's a real shame Satanta didn't get to spend more time down there because he did look dangerous, took five contested marks and kicks four goals, so um, I thought he did a brilliant job down there, but he had to be our uh, support act in the ruck. Was that frustrating? You had opportunities early on to probably nail the game and didn't quite take them? Yeah, well, yeah. I think in the first three quarters it was three, five, um, two, three, and 2-4, um, and then if you swing those around, uh, you know, and, but yeah, we just missed goals. I think, you know, Jeff playing on from the top of the goal square and a few others that we should have made the most. And uh, yeah, I thought we clearly outplayed them in the first half, but um, yeah, but then after that, we uh, sort of played all right in the first five or 10 minutes, but then they started to get their game going. And, uh, you know, to give them credit, they overran us at the end. Concern. Obviously, with a big game this week, did you see a few things that that will uh, make you sleep a bit uh, a bit fitful tonight? I thought our ball use. I thought uh, one of our strengths was uh, you know uh, keeping the ball off them and uh, playing there. But I thought our strength became our weakness uh, in the second half. When you consider a hundred and seven possessions or six or five, or it was just over a hundred possessions in the last quarter. To go inside ten times is not a great result and it doesn't allow you to win the game. And uh, they only had 71 or something, went in 14, and you know, they scored their four goals or whatever it was in the last uh, to win the game. But uh, we scored two, but we just didn't go in enough. And I thought we were reluctant to, to kick the ball when we had the chance. And I thought we just tried to play the perfect play a bit too much in the game. And it was a bit like that in the third quarter. We kicked the bets three times, three short passes, three cut off, and they scored on every occasion from those plays went from one end of the ground to the other. So I thought our ball use became a, uh, an issue in the second half. What are your thoughts heading into next, next week, Brett? How, how are you feeling overall about how the team's travelling? Um, yeah, not too bad. There's a lot to like. I thought we got beaten at stoppages, which is a, a strength of ours. So um, we'll have to address that area of the game because um, you know, we, we got first hands to the ball uh, by you know, Robbie Warnock, I thought, did a good job in there. and. Uh, gave us first access but uh, then from there on uh, they won them by probably about four so I thought we were okay at centre bounces but around the ground and that we were pretty average around stoppages today. Much was made of last night how it didn't matter for either side and to an extent for you guys you knew what was, what was coming up next week. Was, was yep. that a factor at all towards the end do you reckon? Um, I suppose it gives you um, you know I suppose when Jamison pulls out this morning um, you know just didn't feel quite right with the knee. Um, you know, Carrazzo's in a car accident and then Cruz goes off or looks like being hope they're the three things they say they come in three, so hopefully uh, they're the three things that have gone now. Uh, but uh, yeah, it'll be good to get some of those senior boys back in and you know, um, Thornton will be available as well. Um, White will be around the, the edges. Um, yeah, so it'll be good to get the, Carrazzo's been a, you know, a seasoned performer so, and Jamison's been in pretty good form, even if he plays forward, he, he looked pretty good um, in doing that for us as well. Jamison, there's always the, just pulled up sore, there's always the worry that 
you know, that it, it is a reoccurrence. It's not that. You're pretty convinced there's not. And he'll play next week. Yeah, I, well, we, all the indicators yeah. say that he will. Um, you know, this afternoon he, he felt a, a, you know, better and from those things. So, you know, uh, the risk factor, and I think you just touched on it, knowing that we can't lose our spot. Do we put him out there and something does go wrong, then we definitely lose him. So we probably, that one was just, let's be a bit conservative. It, you know, he said it just felt a, not quite right this morning, so we just made the call. Obviously, next week, yes, and then, um, great rivals. With, you, know, you beat them quite well last time, but great rivals, and it's going to be a huge game, isn't it? You get the chance to play in front of a Melbourne audience as well. Yeah, that's something we've, uh, as a football club, we've been uh, crying out for for over 10 years to play a home final and, and give our supporters uh, the chance to, you know, be a part of our finals campaign. And, um, yeah, it's something that, uh, you know, we want to sort of give back to. We've sort of spoken to the, the boys about we want to get a final, but we want to make sure it's a home final. And, uh, you know, this is our third year in a row in finals and it'd be a great chance to put our best case forward to uh, moving into the next round. But, uh, you know, it's going to be tough, but uh, we'll have a great chance next week. No other injuries other than Chris? No, all, all clear. Um, no, just bumps and bruises and the normal, so all clear. How do you see it going into this elimination final show, third in a row? Obviously there have been lessons with the last two. Uh, how do you feel going into this one, you've progressed as a team? I think defensively we're, um, we're a lot sounder um, there, but uh, I suppose both, both finals and as football's evolving, um, your effectiveness on the scoreboard is so critical and, and turnovers and those things, even tonight, we, we had our chances and, uh, you know, in big games you've got to make the most of them because teams get momentum and they get the uh, the opportunity to hurt you back, it's just how long they can sustain that momentum and oh, that's probably a couple of lessons, you know, towards the end of uh, the game in Sydney last year, just in reflection, we probably ran over the top of them but we couldn't put it through the goals, we hit the post a couple of times, um, we missed some easy shots that you would say we would kick, but football's about chances and opportunities, and you know that's what finals footy is about, making the most of it, and that's when the big players ri rise to the occasion. So I'll be looking to see Murphy, you know, Judd, Simpson, those boys, uh, you know, next week. And tonight's performance was um, there's some real positives out of it. Though. I think I thought Henderson's game was outstanding. Uh, I was really pleased with Lockie and. Uh, Laidler, you know, Laidler played, uh, you know, he played above his height tonight. Um, outside of uh, Austin and Bauer, there was not another player available uh, at 186 centimetres or above on our list. So we had to play small tonight and uh, we didn't make the most. But there's some real positive. Simpson's performance I thought was very good as well. So.